Hello friends, welcome back. In this quick session, for about 3 minutes, we are going to learn what exactly is PWM and how is duty cycle important. This is a very important interview question as well as a must know content for everybody. First, let's understand duty cycle. Duty cycle is nothing but percentage of the on time in one complete cycle. There is a signal. The signal is on for certain amount of time. If I can specify the amount of time that it has to be on in percentage, I call it duty cycle. It is generally mentioned in percentage like 10%, 20%, 50%, 90% like that. What is the connect between PWM and duty cycle? When a PWM signal has to be generated, one has to mention the duty cycle alone. So the duty cycle is going to be the base there. When I say 10% duty cycle, it means the signal is expected to be on for 10% of the time in complete duty cycle, in complete cycle. And 50% duty cycle, if I say, the signal is expected to be on for 50% duration. You can see that here, 50% on in one tier, in one cycle. Similarly, 90%, it will be on for 90% and off for 10%. That's all. Now, what is PWM? PWM is pulse width modulation. When you generate a signal with pulse width modulation technique, we call it as pulse width modulated signal. It is very, very useful in controlling the devices like stepper motor, the servo motor, and many other applications are there. There is a strong thing that you need to note that's actually in fact peculiar. The duty cycle of these things, duty cycle of the pulse width modulator things can be changed continuously with respect to time and it shows you that you can fix the bits you want to send in prior. It's very very important point to understand. Also, this will reduce the effort to produce signals in applications where you need a time varying on and off pulses. That's most important point you are going to produce a time varying on and off pulses with the dynamic time periods and that's possible only with duty cycle. Well, do we have support for this in the boards? Many boards support it. Arduino Uno, the frequently used board has got duty cycle, I mean PWM supported pins. You can see that six PWM pins are there. It is represented by a tilt 11, 10, 9, 6, 5, 3 are the pins which are supported by default by Arduino Uno itself for PWM. These are all the six PWM pins of the Arduino you know with which variable duty cycle can be generated. Many boards supported so you can have a look at it and there will be a tilt before it. That's all. This is what I wanted to convey. I hope it was clear. In case you have any questions type it in the chat box. If you like the channel and the content kindly subscribe. Thank you.